The Cambridge University Eco Racing Team is a group of students from the engineering department in Cambridge University who got together in 2007 and decided to build a solo car to race in the World Solo Challenge. So Cambridge University Eco Racing is a student run team. Our mission is to design, build and race solar powered cars. To compete in the World Solar Challenge which is a 3,000 kilometre race across Australia. The World Solar Challenge is um, an international solar car endurance race that runs from Darwin in the north of Australia to Adelaide in the south of Australia. So it covers about 3,000 kilometres, lasts four or five days for the top teams, and it's a great place to showcase really cutting edge sustainable technology. Cambridge University Eco Racing Team's uh, main aims are firstly to build cars and to demonstrate the amazing technologies and secondly to sort of inspire engineers. We, we see that the future of hybrids and electric vehicles will be very prominent and as students we're hoping to build up our skills in these areas so we can use them in our, our future careers. To have a project where the students have to design a complete vehicle with the absolute minimum amount of energy um, is a fantastic training ground for them. Having a big sponsor like Intel involved is very valuable to a team like ours because we have no external sources of funding other than what we get from sponsors and what we raise ourselves. We get the associated benefits of being in partnership with Intel in terms of the PR we get, um, experience from Intel employees and also technical donations. Intel have provided us with two high performance workstations which we use for the design of the car and also to run some of our, our computational fluid dynamic simulations. By having high performance workstations, we're able to run these simulations much faster than we would be normally. Our relationship with Intel is based around similar goals. We're both striving to inspire the younger generations into careers in science and technology. The Intel SSDs fitted to the workstations enable us to have a much faster data throughput for our pre-processing work. In short, that's all the work we do to prepare the models to be submitted to the HPC facilities. In addition to that, Intel have provided us with high performance cluster time at their site in Swindon. This provides us with phenomenal computational power and therefore we're able to iterate our designs much faster than any other solar car team in the world. Intel is um, providing us with an Intel Atom processor which is actually going inside the car this year. Um, we're using it mainly for telemetry purposes, so we're beaming back everything that we learn about the system. Intel have also supplied solid state drive because a standard mechanical hard drive would not be reliable on our car which has such stiff suspension. CUER actually combines two themes that are really important to Intel. The first is science and technology education. We've supported this for our entire history. And the second area is we see the world at a very interesting inflection point today where we see instrumentation and technology applied against the world's great problems. The CUR team are actually addressing some of those problems, so it's a, it's a great merger of these two themes. CUR's ultimate goal is to win the World Solar Challenge. We also share the same goal as Intel, which is an ultimately sustainable future, which we're really hoping to drive towards uh, with our solar car. We really think that the message of sustainability is something we need to pass on to the next generation. Making a, a vehicle of any type is an enormous team effort and we're right now in the centre of, of, of a revolution because the car industry understands it's got to change fundamentally. I really admire the way the students get it together. And it's, it's refreshing for me because here we have a, a group of guys and you hear their plans and you go, it's just not going to happen. It's, it's, it's travelling hopefully at best. And yet they always pull it off. And actually that's a great lesson for anybody in industry that sometimes a bit of passion gets you there.
along the way, I've picked up a lot of practical expertise. And I've applied my course and my le what I've learned at university to a real project that has real results in the end. As a company of engineers, you know, cool technologies get us excited. And so the team has just found it wonderful working with really bright young people at Cambridge, working on a problem which is actually something that matters to all of us. I love being involved in this project, and I would say that what I've learned from the project has equaled how much I've learned from my degree. It's also a fantastic opportunity to work with big companies like Intel who share our goal of uh, driving towards a sustainable future. Uh, and it's a great adventure as well. I mean, driving across Australia is just a fantastic experience. I was involved in the team in 2009 and I really wanted to go back because I felt like we had unfinished business. I think I just really want to go back there and reach our goal of coming in the top 10. Really looking forward to the adventure of getting out to Australia and going across the outback through the desert in a car we built ourselves.